let's uh, solve the differential equation x double dot plus 2x dot plus x equals delta of t minus 1. This is the Dirac delta function. So it's infinite when t equals 1 and 0 everywhere else. And it integrates to 1. And we're solving this as an initial value problem with x of 0 equals 1 and x dot of 0 equals 0. So perhaps the easiest way to solve this differential equation is by taking the Laplace transform of both sides. Um, so we use the uh, table to do that. Uh, we use um, line the bottom two lines, 15 and 16, to take the transform of the second derivative and the first derivative. And then uh, to take the transform of the Dirac delta function, we use uh, line 14, delta, the transform of delta of t minus c is equal to e to the minus cs. Okay. So we transform. So we have uh, s squared capital X. And then uh, for the second derivative, then we have a minus s times x of 0, which is 1. So minus s, and then the first derivative is 0, plus a 2 times a uh, s times x. And we have a uh, transform of x dot is sx minus x of 0. So we have a minus x of 0. So we have a minus 2 here from the uh, initial condition plus x. And that's the transform of the Dirac delta function, which is e to the minus s, because this uh, is minus 1 here. OK? That's the transform. So we can uh, factor the x. So we have s squared plus 2s plus 1 times capital X. And that's equal to, we can throw the minus s minus 2 on the right hand side. So we have an s plus 2 plus this exponential function e to the minus s. Okay, So we can then solve the Laplace transformed equation for x of s. Uh, this factors to s plus 1 squared. So we have uh, s plus 2 over s plus 1 squared plus an e to the minus s over s plus 1 squared. OK? So now uh, we've solved the equation in the Laplace transform space. What we need to do now is transform back. <coughs> um, to manage this term, first term here, we need a partial fraction decomposition. So we write this s plus 2 over s plus 1 squared. In a partial fraction decomposition, we would write that as a over s plus 1 plus a b over s plus 1 squared, OK? Um, and then uh, putting everything under a common denominator, multiply top and bottom by s plus 1. So we'd have a s plus a plus b over s plus 1 squared. So immediately we can match the coefficients. So we get a equals 1, and a plus b equals 2. So b is also equal to 1. OK. So we've got our x of s, then, is equal to a over s plus 1 
A is sorry is equal to one. We've determined A already. So we have a one over S plus one. And then b is 1 plus a 1 over s plus 1 squared plus uh, e to the minus s over s plus 1 squared. OK? Now we can um, inverse Laplace transform this to find x of t. We go to our table. So 1 over s plus 1. 1 over s plus 1 goes to an exponential function. So 1 over s plus 1 will be e to the minus t. 1 over s plus 1 is e to the minus t. 1 over s plus 1 squared. 1 over s plus 1 squared, line 5. Uh, n is equal to 1, a is equal to minus 1, so 1 over s plus 1 squared is t times e to the minus t, t times e to the minus t. Okay, so straightforward application of the table. And then the last term, exponential function over s plus 1 squared. Uh, the exponential function is here at the bottom. The exponential function times 1 over 1 plus s squared, s plus 1 squared. The exponential function brings down, transforms to the step function. So e to the minus s becomes u sub 1 of t times the transform of capital F shifted by uh, here by 1, OK? Shifted by 1. So we have the, first we have the um, step function, u sub 1 of t. And then we have the transform of 1 over s plus 1 squared shifted by 1. So the transform of 1 over s plus 1 squared we did here already, t times e to the minus t. And now we have to shift it by 1. So we have times t minus 1 times e to the minus t minus 1. OK? And then that's the solution of the equation. So this first piece here is the homogeneous solution uh, st because of the initial conditions. Uh, that x of 0 equals 1, x dot of 0 equals 0, and this is the kick that the solution gets from the uh, Dirac delta function in homogeneous terms.